By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. I can't wait. Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <sighs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Addy. Look, you're coming with Hello and welcome to another episode of Assassin's Creed 4. Um, thanks for watching and please enjoy the rest of the video. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hearty. But I'm not wrong. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hardy. Oh! <laughs> 
Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. See here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Kenway. Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Is mine bigger than yours? No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseen them from prick to sternum. Fire what cannons you will, and land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. Shot 
Just They're trying stay. to flee! Slow them down with chain shot! She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Lay up alongside her. We must soon find her, Edward. Grappling hooks away. Let's to the prize. Tengo un buen día, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, senor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? <laughs> Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. Let's do that. How to meet these Samaritans at some point. Start thinking. Can keep the heat. You're a wonder, can we? You've been knack this kind of way. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, <laughs> ah, But I ain't do this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coins some land and anyone's back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to try? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels.
fine protest Easy. today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. We trade the prices. Mr. Beckford knows our fair. And with a quality he knows is sound. Ah, it is hearty molasses and raw cane that is given. It gladdens me to hear your say. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. molasses and raw cane that's a given it gladdens me to hear your saying so but despite the waywardness of your enterprise here i understand that you are men of discernment
Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to fight. <laughs> I do say, sir. No. No. All up and unfell, boys. No. We're going to go. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. Look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Ride the wind for all she's worth! Trouble of I see them. I see them. Stun suits! Let's ride this squall! Brief the tonsil to gallant! Stun suit! Unfurl aloft! Man your sheets!
Hold down and clue up! Fill those men! Race! Get the mainsails into the wind! Douse off at main! Reef the mains! Clue up gallons! Let's get moving! Crowd on all the sail we have! This man's working for Peter Backford's people. Do you know them? The Backfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantation, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, which run between two metal rollers, across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in tatches with the hot. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is maybe the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin and stick like wood lime and burn on, giving a terrible scar. Jesus. Someone blowing in! Stone up by the rigging! Royal bloody navy! Quite the storm in the young captain! Plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jack. Let's storm, Captain! Looks bad! Fire! Grief! Short no sail! Full! Full for all your worth! here why such disarray bit of a do sir that's all it's wilmington's birthday and you saw fit to get pickled on duty it's no bother sir we have everything sorted we'll soon see won't we for you must double the watch this evening double sir <laughs> To get pickled on duty. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No oh, bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. It certainly wasn't slavers, though. A ship that size. In any case. Double the watch, and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand?
I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Clear shot. He's mine. That's a clear shot. You come back here, you mad maggot! 